Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. If it's your first time joining, welcome. If you're a previous subscriber or you are a new subscriber, welcome back. Um, in today's video, I'm going to just do a really quick update. Um, I know I have not done a video in the last week. It has been an extremely busy week with... Um, some surprises that my husband kind of popped on me and um, I've been kind of taking care of that. Um, my husband su surprised me uh, Wednesday of last week with a brand new car and well brand new to me car and um, just totally totally blew my mind I wasn't expecting it and he pulled up in the driveway with a new car for me and um, I've been taking care of what I, what I had to deal with that um, cleaning the vehicle up getting it registered um, things like that and um, having some new tires put on it just a few little things um, in between that time I have prepared my batting I've got my batting cut I've got my background um, fabric cut and I got the quilt top um, I got it starched and pressed and I did that from the um, inside portion of the quilt um, so I could that one's not very good I got my seam pressed sideways on this one because um, I didn't have my seams laying correctly and when I was stitching it kind of flipped it over but what I did is um, I pressed and starched all my seams so everything would lay nice and flat um, since this is a light colored background quilt I wanted to make sure that all my seams and my um, yeah, the seams were pressed nice, so when I did layer the quilt, they didn't kind of like flip over. Um, so I'm hoping that will work. Uh, I do intend on using a quilt basting spray. Um, I really like using this particular brand, the June Taylor. I purchased it at Walmart, and... Um, I was one of those types of people that I always kind of like bad mouthed quilt basting spray. But now um, in my last couple quilts, I've started using it and I really, really like the convenience of it. You do have to do a little preparation and things like that, um, like you do normally for your quilt. But if you are going to be using a quilt basting spray, you want to make sure that you use it in an area that um, if you get any overspray, it can be cleaned easily. Um, I take it out to my living room and I lay out the, um, actually in my dining room, and I lay out my backing um, on, my, on my dining room table. I used to have a really large, like eight foot long table and I was able to do it a lot easier. I've got a different table now, so I'm hoping that I will still be able to um, lay it out easily. I may have to do it like in quadrants to um, get it to lay correctly and um, layer. I'm going to try to do that in a video to show you how I, it can be done on a small table. Um, yeah. But again, um, I just wanted to kind of pop in and let you guys know that I am still working on um, the quilt. And I'm really sorry again that it has taken um, a while to kind of pop back in and give you guys another video on the update. Or um, uh, on the, <laughs> the chandelier quilt to update you on, on the progress of it. And... Um, we are going to get back into filming regularly very soon. Everything just kind of happened, has happened at one time. And um, I try to get into going back to the quilting and then something else happens. And I, I know I'm sorry for all the, all the um, delays. 
but again um, just wanted to pop in and let you know that things are still happening and uh, we will get to this really quickly um, for those of you that don't know if you have not seen the previous video I believe it was the previous video um, I talked about how we were going to be quilting it. I will be quilting it on the FAF Creative 4.0 and it will be done in a edge to edge quilting design. And I'm gonna leave the design as a surprise. Um, and here's Luna the Crafty Kitty popping up to say hello as well. Where are you going? Where are you going? So she's going to check things out. Um, so I did ask some suggestions from some of the members of quilting groups I belong to on Facebook. And um, the quilting design that I will be using, uh, I've really kind of set my heart on it. So now the thing that I am trying to decide is... Um, whether I will be using a, I'm going to just use my, let me show you here. I have a really pretty, just bright yellow. Um, so I could use a yellow to do the quilting and that would let it pop a little bit and be seen on some of the blue. Um, or I have... Um, like blue, I could do a, let me show you here, I could do like a dark blue. Um, so I don't know, I don't know what color of thread, these these are just the two, the two colors that I have. Um, uh, yeah, so I don't know if it's just going to be white. Um, I really, really love the idea of using the yellow. So that may be the color I use. Um, yeah, so if you guys have any suggestions on what color to use, um, comment down below, let me know what you guys think. But I'm really, I'm really, I think I'm really set on using the yellow. So um, I'm, I'm hoping to get the next video filmed that when I show you how I'm going to be layering it on the and using my dining room table to do that. I'm hoping to get to that tomorrow or the next day. Um, I am waiting for a company to currently come and pick up a vehicle that we're, we, we're not um, keeping any longer. We had a um, uh, cargo, not a cargo van, but it's like a Ford Econoline um, van. And if you remember the vans that have like the big, uh, big um, seats in them and they have a folding seat in the back and all that stuff, we used to use this van for camping trips. And um, we just got to be putting a lot of money in it. And the last year, year and a half, maybe two years, we haven't used the van at all. It just kind of sits in my driveway. My husband keeps the upkeep on it and all that stuff, and he's just tired of putting money into something that we don't use anymore. So we're donating it to a local charity. And today I'm waiting for them to come and pick up the van. They're coming to tow it. And um, I guess they're going to load it on a flatbed or something like that. So I'm waiting for that to happen. And um, then I'm hoping tomorrow I can get to the filming of the video of assembling the quilt top so we can prepare it for the quilting. Um, okay, so I hope this wasn't too much of a ramble on and everything. I'm going to end the video here and get it edited so it can go up today. Today is Monday. I'm sorry, Tuesday, October 31st. Halloween day. So I want to get this edited and posted so you guys can know a little bit more um, what's going on. And I, again, I'm really sorry for the delay. Um, yeah, so 
Next video is assembling the quilt top with the basting spray, how to do that on a small dining table. Um, then we will be setting up the machine, the um, FAF Creative 4.0 machine to um, do the embroidery, edge to edge embroidery um, quilting design. And I will be using a um, magnetic quilting, a uh, magnetic hoop. So, um, yeah, okay. So I think I, th I think I got everything. Sorry for the big ramble and on and on. Um, if you guys have any questions, please comment down below. Um, yeah, and again, thank you for all my new subscribers. Please, if you have anybody that would be um, interested in my videos, please share with them. Um, if you have not subscribed, please hit that button down below. Subscribe to the videos. That lets me know that um, you guys want more videos. Like the videos. Um, hit that thumbs up button. That really helps with the YouTube, YouTube algorithm. That will let my videos um, be seen more often. Um, that way um, you guys you guys know about my my videos more things like that okay so we will see you all really soon in the next video and hope you all have a great day and a very safe happy halloween thank you bye guys